How's it going troops? Welcome to the Scarecrow channel. I'm back again with another video. Uh, this time I like to do an unboxing and a review of my MHL cable. So MHL, uh, that's the mobile, mobile high definition link. So uh, let's take a look. So this is, um, you can see MHL for i9300, so that's the Galaxy S3 phone. Um, to start off, uh, this is a no-name MHL um, adapter. So you can get the Samsung ones, uh, or you know, or you can you can kind of gamble and get the uh, the no-name from you know from China. So that's what this is. This is about ten bucks versus uh, I think they're like forty or fifty bucks um, Canadian for uh, for the. Uh, Samsung ones. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, take a quick peek at uh, what this is and then we can kind of talk about what it does. So it's pretty straightforward. So on the one side you have the micro USB, uh, so that fits right in your phone here. And the other side is HDMI, HDMI out, so that's a full HDMI cable, that's not the mini or anything like that. And you also have a micro USB here for charging. Uh, so this needs to be charged while you're um, while you're playing this, just because uh, this does take up a uh, you know a lot of bit, uh, quite a bit of resources. So the phone itself cannot run this by itself. So you just grab another um, USB to micro USB. You just plug that guy in there. And the other side, you just plug it into your computer or hub or whatever. And uh, and then yeah, so on this side, you just grab a HDMI cord, and you can pretty much stream your phone onto uh, TV. Okay, so uh, let's talk about a little bit about this uh, the the HDMI or sorry the MHL cable for. For Samsung, so Samsung has come out with uh, new technology uh, that they claim is a little bit better than all the other MHL. So you can't just get any MHL cable out there. It's got to be actually the the Samsung or the one made for the i9300. And that's because the pinout is different on the Samsung ones. So they're actually using 11 pins versus the five pins. So a lot of people been um, saying you can you can see this online is why the extra pins, and th the best answer that I've seen out there is that um, the extra pins are for a second functionality, so to be able to do something else besides just video, and so a lot of people have been speculating well. It sure would be nice to uh, plug this into your phone uh, to have video, but also be able to plug in something else. So if you're doing video out, it would be also nice to do a maybe keyboard or a mouse out as well. So a lot of been people saying, well, that's probably what it's for. Um, but for a while there, nobody really knew if this worked or not. So... so uh, what people have been trying or, or seeing is if you plug this into your phone and plug the other side, um, basically power it up and then pl plug it into a USB hub. So you would just basically plug this into USB hub just like that and plug this into here. But anyway, you would plug this in here and See and then basically this thing would get its power. Then you can plug in your your HDMI out, and people thought that hey, I got all of these extra ports. Can I with these extra pinout be able to plug in other peripherals and be able to use them? So I have tried this, and sadly no, we at this point you cannot do it. So. Um, I'm not exactly sure where the breakdown is, but at this point you cannot plug any other extra peripherals uh, to the phone to be able to um, 
to be able to get anything else out. So if you want to do that, um, the there is a dock that you can get for I think it's a Note 2 dock that you can get that you can has extra on the side. It's got extra USB, uh, full USB um, uh, plugins that you can plug in extra things in there. So for at this point, no, you cannot do anything like that. So the 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 way to basically bypass that is what you can do is um, if you have a Bluetooth USB or Bluetooth mouse that will work because you're not tying up the Bluetooth um, COM port on the uh, on the phone so if you want uh, your video out and you want your keyboard and mouse to work just get a Bluetooth one and away you can just pair it up and then away you go so a lot of been people have been doing that so using this as a kind of like a desktop um, so you would plug this into your uh, into your computer and then pair it up with a Bluetooth um, device and then you can probably you can you know um, you can have a, a bigger screen and then that way you can with it's basically a Google Chrome uh, OS is what it would be at that point so you can use your Google Docs you can you know use your um, your web browser your email just like anything else so it'd be like a Chrome OS so uh, give that a try and uh, see if uh, see if that works for you. I have also tried a converter cable, so from HDMI to DVI out. Um, again, this did not work for me. Um, I'm actually not sure why um, this didn't work. So I'm not sure if this was because um, I had the wrong cable, or maybe the monitor did not support. Um, something with with this cable so I have tried this if you guys have any luck trying uh, this this cable here uh, HDMI to DVI out so this is the I don't think this is the digital one um, but anyway that's it's it didn't work for me if you guys have tried it let me know down in the comments below if if this cable or anything like that has worked for you so could have been just my monitor I'm, I'm not sure uh, maybe just the resolution was a little bit off compared to the phone so I uh, just wanted to touch up on that okay so at this point uh, let's uh, let's show you what kind of how this works and um, functionality of it so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video and come back here I'm gonna plug it into uh, my 32 inch TV and we'll see what kind of quality or see what kind of things we can do on that so all right let's take a look all right and we're back so I got it all set up I got the uh, MHL cable plugged in for power and I got it to a long HDMI cable and then into my phone and as you can see it's almost a replica of the same thing so let's just uh, take a look at what this thing can do so you can do it vertically and you could do it landscape so and just touch works the same way as it as it always does <clears throat> vertically and horizontally all right so now let's uh, let's take a look at some um, let's see what we could do camera so you could do camera front facing oops <laughs> okay, so that still works. Uh, let's try a game. I don't know. Uh, let's try Dead Trigger. So this game has been doing this for me, so it's not the MHL part. Let me just actually quickly fix that. So there's a trick. If you're getting that on yours, here's a little trick you can go go to developer options and 
disable hardware overlays and uh, let's jump back in to our game and there you go see it's not doing it anymore so let's just take a look it's like a lot of people have been doing this too so you can just sit back if you got the cable long enough you can just sit back and and actually uh, just play video games on your bigger screen Wait for them zombies to come. Whoa, there you are. Hello. Oh yeah, it's getting spilled here. Anyway, you get the point. Let's try a different game here. This will bring you back. So there's a lot of things you could do with this game, <clears throat> with this program, uh, or with this MHL adapter. Well, I think uh, that is it for my time. <clears throat> uh, let me know what you thought, think of this uh, adapter. Um, if you have any comments or questions about it. Um, so when you are getting it. Um, when you are going to be getting this adapter, um, just make sure you get the 11 pin um, one versus the 5 pin ones that are out there. Those will be for the Android, like HTC and that. Um, the 5 pins won't actually work with uh, with the Samsung um, phone. So if you have a Galaxy S3, just make sure you get it for the i9300 or, or if it says 11 pins on there then then it should work fine for you because there's a lot a lot of them out there that um, that will not work with with this device so just be careful or if you got the extra cash to burn um, I don't see why but if you just want to be sure go out and uh, just get a Samsung one um, you know it'll do this exact same thing the quality is not any less it's still at 1080p and everything so and if you like this video give me a thumbs up I always appreciate that and if you want to see more of these videos coming out just um, hit the subscribe button and then you'll get them as soon as they come out I think that is it for my time and I do thank you for yours have a good one bye mm -hmm.